Hello guys, it is Shark Hunter 21 bringing you Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, with this game, I'm definitely excited to play it. Um, I really can't wait to play it for you guys. Now, as you can see, there is a continue up there. I have played a little bit because, like a lot of people, I was having trouble with the Origins thing and the Keep. Honestly, I'm honestly... Honestly, I'm honestly... Nice. I'm still not sure whether or not my Keep data has fully transferred but fuck it we're gonna do it either way besides I'll know from a couple lines of dialogue later if it did or not anyway we're gonna start the game but right before we do I just want you to notice this I mean, we got Templars moving on the right here we got mages on the left they're all heading for this um, temple looking place that's a chantry maybe some kind of temple so the fact that they're not fighting, that's good. Let's hope it stays that way. But without further ado, let's go. Ah, uh, well, shit. All right, so right off the bat, we got, thankfully, um, away from Dragon Age 2, we go back to multiple races to pick from. So we've got human, elf, dwarf, and kunari. But we are gonna go with human. That's what I've always gone with, so that's what we're going to do. Might be boring, but oh well. And then we're going to go with a dual-wielding rogue. And we're going to do normal difficulty just because I want to enjoy the game, not bash my head against the... Okay. So we got a little summary here. Um, as the youngest child of the Trevlan, Trev Trev sure, Noah House, you grew up in the free in the free marcher city of Auschwitz, and have enjoyed a life of privilege with close family ties to the Chantry and many relatives among the priesthood and the Templars, you are always expected to follow a similar path in service of the Maker, regardless of how you feel about the matter personally. Willing or unwilling, you are sent to the Chantry's conclave to assist relatives who sought to make peace between the Templars and mages. It didn't go well. And this is what worries me here. I, I don't know whether... You know, it says to import a custom world state, log in to blah. <sighs> but, fuck it. What it should be, by the way, is um, both both of my uh, heroes from the previous games are alive. Um, the Warden's a male. Uh, the champion of Kirkwall was a female. And that's about all I'll go into right now until we get some information whether or not the data is saved. I pray it did. I really do. If it didn't, I'll be upset. But, oh well. Alrighty, we're waking up. Looks like we got caught right in the middle of this blast. So right off the bat, we get to start off with some character creation here. So let's go ahead and do a little bit. Don't worry, I'm not going to be doing a lot. Just some very minor stuff here. So let's see. Skin tone. Why my button's not working? Oh, right. Duh. Not that pale. Definitely not that pale. That looks good, I think. Or maybe, yeah, that's better. My complexion. Uh, yeah, it's actually pretty close, I think. I don't really see anything bad. So with that, with eye color. I gotta get super close to the screen. So sorry if my voice is getting loud. Uh, let's see. Where the hell are the blue eyes? Blue. I think I might have passed them. So hard to tell this time around. Oh wait, that's... Yeah. There's blue. I wish they had zoomed in or something on the eyes, but oh well. Alright, now we're just going to find hair. It's kind of what mine looks like when I let it go along, but it's not it now. Hmm. It's pretty close. I'm a little... Uh, I was a little disappointed in the hairstyles for this game. You just seem kind of... eh. That's not bad, actually. 
but I think I might just end up going with this. Go with that. Uh, make it like lighter, but not crazy lighter. See with that one, I don't know. It, mm, it looks kind of close to my hair, but at the same time, a little too blonde. So, I think we'll just stick with uh, brown. Yeah, let's see. It's actually pretty close to what I want. Just some stubble, really. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Voice. As long as the job gets done, I don't care about the rest. Everything you've heard? Completely true. Huh. I just hope I can help. Huh. As long as the job gets done, I don't care about the rest. More time? How much is this going to cost me, exactly? That's a... I just hope I can help. How much is this going to cost me, exactly? Hmm. How much is this going to cost me, exactly? I don't know. They, they both sound pretty good. How much is this going to cost me, exactly? Hmm. I can't wish they would stop saying the same thing, but... I just hope I can help. Hmm. You leave me no choice! Okay. As long as the job gets done, I don't Tr care about the rest. Say something different, jerk. I just hope I can help. Different. As long as the job gets uh, done, I don't care about the rest. All right, we'll, we'll go with that. All right, for ears, we're not really too worried about that. Um, that's really about all we want to do, because, yeah, we're good with that. And we will rename you, um, and we'll just give him my name. All right. And we can get this show on the road. And of course, as usual, I'll put a little annotation to skip if you're so inclined. You know, I know people don't always want to watch it. <laughs> Got some glowy figure at the top here. Of course, if nothing else, we'll go check it out. Why not? But overall, yeah, I'm just crazy excited to get this game going. I have played a lot, but not so much that the story's been ruined. Not at all. Those are big ass spiders, by the way. Reach, damn it! Reach! And good old Gluey. What's up, guys? Can you help me out? Maybe? That'd be cool if you could. Oh, Lordy. Oh, boy. Yeah, of course, if my custom didn't work, then, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll try calling them back again, because I had to call them to get the account straight enough and all that, but bleh. Again, we're just going to cross our fingers here. I won't know until I hit certain dialogue. My hand is crackling. Great energy. Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The Conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead. Except for you. Because I'm cool like that, that's why. Uh... What do you mean everyone's dead? Explain this. I... 
can't. What do you mean, you can't? I don't know what that is, or how it got there. You're lying! We need him, Cassandra. Let's see. <laughs> Let me go. Hmm. I can't believe it. All those people. Dead. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember running. Th things were chasing me, and then... A woman. A woman? She reached out to me. But then... Yeah. Go to the Ford camp, Liliana. I will take him to the rift. Oh, that sounds like fun. Rift. Ugh. What did happen? It will be easier to show you. Okay. It's a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the <clears throat> world. Whoa. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. And I won't be doing the narration, like reading this out loud, since obviously my guy talks for himself, so. You say it may be the key. To doing what? Closing the breach. <clears throat> Whether that's possible is something we shall discover shortly. It is our only chance, however. And yours. Awesome. You still think I did this? <laughs> to myself? Not intentionally. Something clearly went wrong. And if I'm not responsible? Someone is. And you are our only suspect. You wish to prove your innocence? This is the only way. Huh. I understand. Then... I'll do what I can. Whatever it takes. Alright. Let's go, baby. <clears throat> they have decided your guilt. They need it. Awesome. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. Great. We lash out like a sky, but we must think beyond ourselves, as she did. Until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. It is not far. Where are you taking me? Your mark must be tested on something smaller than the breach. Alright, so now we can actually get this baby going. And the first thing right off the bat, this being a Dragon Age game, you can jump. Is that not great, or is that not great? Pretty good. Let's check out that evil. It's awesome. But um. Open the gate. We are heading into the valley. Uh huh. I don't know. It, for anyone who's played The Witcher 2, the way it moves and everything and looks somewhat too, it reminds me a lot of The Witcher 2. Just a lot. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and do that. So that'll go away. 
Oh, Lord. Look at that green shit coming down. What is that? Solnado? Maybe? Oh. Damn it! The pulses are coming faster now. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How did I survive the blow? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Everything farther in the valley was laid waste, including the Temple of Sacred Ashes. I suppose you'll see soon enough. So that's a big thing right then. We are at the site of the Temple of Sacred Ashes. That is pretty big uh, lore and story ways, especially back from Dragon Age Origins! Oh, fuck. Thanks, evil. Oh, hello. Stay behind me! Yeah, that's not gonna work out so well. Hello, daggers. All right, you beastie, come now. Come on. It's over. Drop your weapon. Now. Oh, now. Yeah, trust me, okay? If you're going to lead me through a demon-infested valley, you'll have to trust me. Give me one reason to trust you. Because my life is on the line. <sighs> you're right. I cannot protect you. And I cannot expect you to be defenseless. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. Uh huh. Remember the little details, okay? Thank you. All right, and then the other. Take these potions. Okay. Maker knows what we will face. Sure. Um, Where are all your soldiers? Ah, damn it! Keep talking. At the forward camp or fighting. We are on our own for now. But the inter in interesting thing with this game is apparently they've ripped out healing spells and the auto healing after battles, so yeah. Alright, let's equip that real quick. No, wait. Inventory. There we go. Armor. Let's see. Give me the hat. It's a really stupid looking hat, but. Gives me that much more defense. It's always welcomed. Um, so yeah, now you have to rely on health potions primarily. So yeah. There, watch out! Oh, if watching. we flank them, we may gain the advantage. Step in the back. There we go. This is why I love being a rogue. Just for shit like this. So fun. And just seeing the kind of crazy damage you can do as well. Oh, and that's the one I see that says plus 60 gold. So apparently, I guess they just dropped the copper and silver. You know, the pennies and dimes, pretty much. So now it's just straight up gold, which is kind of funny when you think about it. Just because, um... The game... Especially Dragon Age 2, where you needed 50 pieces of gold to move forward in the expedition. But then, you know, we just picked up 60, so it's okay, we could have just funded it. <laughs> Alright, let's kill that specter looking thing. A wraith. And down he goes. Easy as that. But, as I was saying earlier about this feeling like, um, the Witcher 2, in a way, 
It doesn't feel as... Woohoo! Yeah, Elford. Like, when, when Geralt moves, he's just... His shoulders are just so stiff the whole time. But, I mean, with this, obviously, your guy's moving, jumping with ease. It just reminds me of that, that's all. Not a bad thing at all. The Witcher is all... The Witcher 2, I haven't played the first one, but... Witcher 2 is a fantastic oh, RPG. From the breach. Great! I'm gonna go check that shit out, but... Before I do... Goodbye. Um, and this one does follow a bit after, um, Dragon Age 2. I don't know if it takes place necessarily years after, or maybe even months, because it doesn't seem like it's that far from the timeline at all. Let's be sneaky sneaky. Sandra, help! There we go. Stab! There we go. Hmm. And the combat takes a little bit of getting used to because with Dragon Age 2, it was very in your face, there wasn't a whole lot of tactics. The most you use the tactics for, at least myself, was just making sure my people were healed up and weren't gonna die on me through the battles. Um, but with this one, it's a lot better. Here, let me see if I can do it. Or, let me see if I can hit the right button. How about? Nope, no, nope. it hasn't given me access to it yet. But we'll see it in just a bit. You'll get to see exactly what I'm going on about here. Now we just gotta get up to the top here. We're getting close to the rift. You can hear the fighting. Who's fighting? You'll see soon. We must help them. Well, you know, it doesn't really help me when you just say them. Hello? <laughs> Kill these specters! Boom. Ferric! Quickly! Before more come through! How'd you know that was gonna what do that? Do? I did nothing. The credit is yours. Huh. At least this is good for something. Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself? Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Oh, great. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Barak Tethrus. Rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. Man, it's so weird seeing Varric in these pretty graphics now. Um, I, I do plan on doing Dragon Age 2, of course, but oh man, it's so weird seeing him now. Are you with the Chantry or <laughs> was that a serious question? Technically, I'm a prisoner, just like you. I brought you here to tell your story to the Divine. Clearly, that is no longer necessary. Yet, here I am. Lucky for you, considering current events. Yeah, of course that's pleasing me, Varric. Of course, it's Varric! It's good to meet you, Varric. You may reconsider that stance in time. Oh, I'm sure we'll become great friends in the valley, Chuckles. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. Thanks. He means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. Oh, double thanks. 
You seem to know a great deal about it all. Solas is an apostate, well versed in such matters. Technically, all mages are now apostates, Cassandra. My travels have allowed me to learn much of the Fade, far beyond the experience of any circle mage. I came to offer whatever help I can give with the Breach. If it is not closed, we are all doomed, regardless of origin. That's a commendable attitude. Merely a sensible one. Although, sense appears to be in short supply right now. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I've seen. Your prisoner is no mage. Indeed, I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. <laughs> Oh boy, fair Tetris and Solas. This way, down the bank. The road ahead is blocked. We must move quickly. Hey, Varric, why are you up here? You were supposed to go down there. Huh. Okay. Oh, it's all good. I mean, they're going to follow me anyway. Let's go move on. Actually, I think I've got some special weapons, maybe? Or not, no. But, we'll switch that out anyway. It's a slow more damage boost, which is always good. Alright. Alright. Money. I love it. Switch between the party members as e easily as that. Which will be necessary later. Glad you brought me now, Seeker! There we go, that's what I was waiting on. Here it is, here's the tactical look. Um, which I'm sure is going to be helpful later. But, uh, shit. Tell me I'm not already attacking. I hope not. But it's great because, of course, it allows you to pinpoint exactly who and what you want to attack. Oh shit, actually, let's have her attack that one. Freeze him, and we'll get Varric to. We'll have him attack this one too. As for myself, no. working out pretty well already. Let me get behind him so I can do even more damage. So that's what those do! Dead. Yes it is. Okay, cool. Alright. This is just a small portion of it, but you can actually explore um, greater things. I, I mean small portion of the tutorial area, by the way. Because they brought back way more of what um, Origins was compared to Dragon Age 2, where it was more of an open world and you could explore things. But this one, I mean, they made it open. There's specific sections you go to. Uh, Dragon Thorn. What's that? A uh, weapon for me? No, no, it's not. Maybe yeah, that was just, uh, probably just some item or something, like a craft item. But anyway, yeah, like, the first area you go to after the tutorial to um, explore and whatnot, oh my god, it's huge. Actually, we want to go this way first, there's a little more to explore. And I'm sorry, but you guys will just have to deal with it if you don't like it, sorry. This is how I play um, the Dragon Age games. Oh fuck, there's fire everywhere! Yes, I, I play them screaming about the fire. That's exactly what I meant. But, um, no, I mean, I, I love to explore, uh, loot things, 
Because, really, like, that was about your only way to get the best equipment um, from... Oh, shit. From Dragon Age 2 was at the... You always had to end up fighting dragons at the end cycles of Dragon Age 2. The end of the axe, as it were. Um, and you typically always got the last piece to your best armor set at that time. So, you know, just in the sake of that, because I don't want to end up missing something real good, that's exactly what we're going to do. We... Let's see. Let's see, that's the greater shade, so we'll have her attack him. So freeze him. We'll also have Varric attack that one. There we go. While I take care of this one myself. Threats. Good deal. Very good. Got a few things to loot. Life ward amulets. Cool. Um, oh, and Another nice thing is, of course, they oh, kept I it. You're from the free marches. Oh. Huh. Accent. I'm from Kirkwald, but you're from uh, further east, maybe. Let's see, I'm from. Yeah. That's quite the year you have. I'm all kinds of impressive. <laughs> <laughs> but. They kept that kind of stuff too, of course, where your people chat with you. But that's different, where you can actually have a little choice. So that's that's interesting. Oh shit! Hold on, we haven't much further. Yeah, I hope so. So we gotta stop that breach. But yeah, that's interesting. They they made it so dialogue choice is a little more effective. I don't remember what happened. That'll get you every time. Should have spun a story. That's what you would have done. It's more believable and less prone to result in premature execution. All right, all right. No, not that. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and... How have they not... Ooh. I don't know how it hasn't aggroed yet, but I'm sure it's just about to. So do that. Freeze him. Varric, do your thing. Help Cassandra. Me, I'm going to take out the green guy. Or not. That's cool too, I guess. We'll just take out the shade. That's okay. Bastard. Go. Go, some stabs. Last but not least, you. Oh, so I or oh, it's dead. I hope Liliana made it through all this. She's resourceful, Seeker. We will see for ourselves at the forward camp. We're almost there. Woohoo! Almost there. Actually, this probably be a good time to go ahead and heal up just so everyone's on the same page. See, it's a lot easier to do it this way. I don't know. Heal. There you go. Okay, there we go. Just so that way everyone's on the same health margin. So I think we're about to hit a. Uh, Phaedrus. We must seal it! Quickly! They keep coming! Help us! Oh, fuck, quit, quit! Damn it. That's fine, that's fine. No, no, no. Stay on him. Alright, let's disrupt this rift a little bit. 